Let these others go. He said this so that what he had said might come true. Father, I have not lost even one of those you gave me. Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's slave, cutting off his right ear. The name of the slave was Malchus. Put your sword back in its place. Do you think that I will not drink the cup of suffering which my father has given me? Then the Roman soldiers, with their commanding officer and the Jewish guards, arrested Jesus, tied him up, and took him first to Annas. He was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was high priest that year. It was Caiaphas who had advised the Jewish authorities that it was better that one man should die for all the people. Simon Peter and another disciple followed Jesus. That other disciple was well known to the high priest, so he went with Jesus into the courtyard of the high priest's house, while Peter stayed outside by the gate. Then the other disciple went back out, spoke to the girl at the gate, and brought Peter inside. Aren't you also one of the disciples of that man? No. I'm not. It was cold, so the servants and guards had built a charcoal fire and were standing around it, warming themselves. So Peter went over and stood with them, warming himself. The high priest questioned Jesus about his disciples and about his teaching. Jesus answered, I have always spoken publicly to everyone. All my teaching was done in the synagogues and in the temple where all the people come together. I have never said anything in secret. Why then do you question me? Question the people who heard me. Ask them what I told them. They know what I said. How dare you talk like that to thy priest? If I have said anything wrong, Tell everyone here what it was. But if I am right in what I have said, why do you hate me? Then Annas sent him, still tied up, to Caiaphas, the high priest. Peter was still standing there, keeping himself warm. So the others said to him, Aren't you also one of the disciples of that man? No, I am not. But Peter denied it. One of the high priest's slaves, a relative of the man whose ear Peter had cut off, spoke up. Didn't I see you with him in the garden? No. And at once, a rooster crowed. Early in the morning, Jesus was taken from Caiaphas' house to the governor's palace. The Jewish authorities did not go inside the palace, for they wanted to keep themselves ritually clean in order to be able to eat the Passover meal. So Pilate went outside to them and asked, What do you accuse this man of? We would not have brought him to you if he had not committed a crime. Then you yourselves take him and try him according to your own law. We are not allowed to put anyone to death. This happened in order to make come true what Jesus had said when he indicated the kind of death he would die. Pilate went back into the palace and called Jesus. Uh, 
Are you the king of the Jews? Does this question come from you? Or have others told you about me? Do you think I'm a Jew? It was your own people and the chief priests who handed you over to me. What have you done? My kingdom does not belong to this world. If my kingdom belonged to this world, my followers would fight to keep me from being handed over to the Jewish authorities. No. My kingdom does not belong here. Are you a king, then? You say that I am a king. I was born and came into the world for this one purpose. To speak about the truth. Whoever belongs to the truth listens to me. <sighs> and what is truth? Then Pilate went back outside to the people and said to them, I cannot find any reason to condemn him, but... According to the custom you have, I always set free a prisoner for you during the Passover. Do you want me to set free for you? The king of the Jews? They answered him with a shout. Give us Barabbas! Give us Barabbas! Barabbas was abandoned. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him whipped. The soldiers made a crown out of thorny branches and put it on his head. Then they put a purple robe on him and came to him and said, Long live the king of the Jews. And they went up and slapped him. Pilate went back out once more and said to the crowd, Look, I will bring him out here to you to let you see that I cannot find any reason to condemn him. Look, here is the man. So Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. Crucify him! Crucify him! You take him then and crucify him. I find no reason to condemn him. We have a law that says he ought to die because he claimed to be the son of God. When Pilate heard this, he was even more afraid. He went back into the palace and asked Jesus, Where do you come from? But Jesus did not answer. He will not speak to me. Remember, I have the authority to set you free and also to have you crucified. You have authority over me only because it was given to you by God. So the man who handed me over to you, 